So I was scrolling through game jams and this this one took my attention and I decided to join it. Two weeks to make a game. Four days left. Let's go. Okay, so in the last video I joined the game jam. So here is the process of making a game in four days. So right after when I joined the jam, I got to the work. I created a new Unity project and started to write down the idea for the game. I didn't have any problems with the idea because I truly got inspired when I read this optional theme. Plants as tools. In my head it was plants as weapons, but that's only a detail. And basically that was everything I've done this evening. Wakey wakey, it's time for game dev. So yeah, today I woke up early because I've got so little time and as everyone knows, time passes second by second, minute by minute. I should tell you what even the idea for the game is. So let's start. So you are a farmer, yeah, and you are being attacked by slimes. And slimes can drop water and seeds. Then you can use the seeds to plant a vegetable in a flower pot and then you need to water the plant otherwise it will dry and die and you don't want that. When the plant is fully grown you can harvest it and use it as your weapon to kill more slimes. And that's everything. Very ambitious I know. I've got 4 days. So I started by drawing the background textures and the, the player, of course, and made a simple script to move the player around. When I tested, I found a first problem. I forgot to tell you, but in this game jam, the game must fit in the 64 by 64 resolution, and the pixels must fit perfectly. So I said, yeah, I just need to use perfect pixel camera, it's already in Unity, so easy, but it wasn't easy. The camera was jittering and the UI, which actually wasn't an UI, just sprites following the player, but they were also jittering, so that was the problem. I was thinking for a long time for the solution, but it was pretty simple. Make scripts for camera and UI to follow the player, but... They need to change position after the player moves, so I did it in the late update function to make sure the player firstly changes position, then the camera and UI. So after this I finished the basic textures like the flower pot, slime first enemy, the weapon carrot and jumped into programming the main mechanic of the game, so growing the plants. Yeah boy! And I've just finished and now, as you can see, the player can plant the carrot, then harvest it, and for now that's all. And that would also be everything for today, because you can believe it or not, I've been actually doing this for 8 hours already, so see ya tomorrow. It's half past seven, let's go to work. So I just implemented attacking enemies, so now you can attack. There are no enemies yet, but there will be, you know. And also sorry for the lack of clips of me programming or something, you know, super time lapse of spamming the keyboard, but I forgot. Also, if you are making games in Unity, I recommend you to firstly learn how to make animations in Unity and then do them, because I've lost so much time repeating, delating, making from the scratch, so I don't recommend it. So I've finished the animations for the slime and look at this cute you! Okay, we got the carrot. One, two... Free. Yeah. Okay, let's fully implement slime because it's almost 2 p.m. and I think I need to work faster. What I will say, 
don't write code in haste because it creates shit like this and also from the more gameplay part I've added the health bar to the plant in the flower pot so now you can see when the plant will die and also I've decided to delay the animations for the player when he's going up or down because I thought that would be too much animations for the time that I have. So at the end of the day we have something like this. Uh, you can do basically everything that was previously but for the last one hour I was fixing the bugs so the game is better now I think and see you tomorrow. So yeah, my favorite day from these 4 days, Saturday, I've done absolutely nothing. So this game was actually made in 3 days. Probably if I had one day more, then I would finish what I wanted, but you'll see later. Welcome, it's Sunday. From the morning I was implementing a system to pick up the seeds and it works but has some bugs so if I find time later I will try to fix them. And plans for the rest of the day are to add at least one more weapon and one more enemy. I'm thinking about the enemy who will, which will shoot something at the player and I don't think I will find time for more because also I I forgot almost, uh, I need to make the main menu and the game over menu, so yeah, I don't have time. So here again, I don't have clips from the development because I was so focused at work that I didn't even think of it. I had idea that I will make a devlog from this, but I haven't recorded anything. So basically for the entire day I've drawn the main menu the game over menu, implemented the additional weapon, additional enemy, the enemy spawn system so they are automatically spawning. Earlier I had to place the enemies by myself and also fixed a few bugs and that's it for today I think. And tomorrow I will have probably time only to add the sounds. I will try to find some free music and publish the game, hopefully. The last hours before the deadline and I'm making sound effects. Also I find a cool free music. I had only to give the credits so very nicely and I'm building the game. Hopefully there won't be any problems but I know there will be. That's why I'm doing this earlier not 30 minutes before the deadline. So I have submit the game to the game jam, 21 minutes before the deadline I think. I was quite slowly publishing that so yeah. And of course you can play the game, check it out, eat your veggies, that's the title because I haven't said you that will be the title I think. So yeah, so that's everything in this video, I hope you have enjoyed. And honestly I'm pretty tired because yesterday I was editing the previous devlog of the Amagus Tower Defense 2. And I'm not good at editing so you know, see ya.